I first met Stephanie exactly one year, nine months, two weeks, and six days ago. And I'll never forget. It was the first Friday of my sophomore college year. It was a Tuesday. The reason I remember so well is because my period had just started and I was having cramps. Bad cramps. I was on the pill. My period always started the first Tuesday of the month. And she had on a sexy black dress. And the sun was shining and she was beautiful. It was raining and I had on baggy jeans and a baseball hat because I hadn't done my hair. Now, I can't speak for her. But I think, you know, for the both of us, it was almost like love at first sight. I finally just gave him my number to get him out of my face. Guys ask me for my number on the street all the time. I didn't actually think he was going to call. I called her the next day. He called me two weeks later. Yeah, I decided to take her to the park. We laughed and talked all day about everything. We walked around for about five minutes, and then I spent the rest of the afternoon watching him play basketball. And to make it so bad, he wasn't even that good. It was the beginning of something wonderful and perfect. For all his faults, Perry has always been a wonderful person. He's smart, funny, attractive. In one word, charming. But he's also some other things. Things used to be so much better between us. But that was then. And this is now. You know, Perry, I'm really getting tired of your shit. My shit? Stephanie, you're the one that's always screaming. Just forget it. Forget it. So you're not talking to me supposed to be like a punishment? We argue about everything, from what movie we're going to go see to... Stephanie, can I ask you a question? No. Why do you have your sweatshirt wrapped around your waist like that? What? Your sweatshirt, how it's wrapped around your waist. Why do you do that? I'm just wondering, what is the intelligence behind the shit? There. Happy now? Yeah, that is cute. You're wearing like a little cape. You're like Supergirl, you know? Flying around. That's cute. Yeah. I can't stand you. Oh, yeah, the next thing you know, you have your socks wrapped around your ankles. And after we argue, we break up. It's over. Fine. I'm leaving. Get out then. And don't come back. And after we break up, we miss each other. And after we miss each other for about two or three hours, one of us calls the other. She usually calls. And we make up. Break up to make up, that's all we do. First you love me, then you hate me. That's a game for fools. It's a sick, perpetual cycle. And right now, we're back on. You know, Perry, maybe we should just break up. Is that what you want? Yeah, that's what I want. Classes are over, summer's about to begin. We're going to be away from each other anyway. You're right. It'll give us a chance to get each other out of our system before our senior year begins. Exactly. Cool. Cool. Good. Look, I'm going to go home. I'll walk you out. No, you don't have to. Bye. Bye.
For those of you keeping count, this is the third time we've broken up this week. Look, you two go through this shit every other day. I, I don't even call them breakups anymore. I just call them breaks. What's the problem? First of all, we argue all the time. You don't have to tell me that, bruh. That's why I started studying in the library. No, I mean, she likes to argue, and she encourages it. How else are we going to work out our differences? That's why we keep having the same problems. He never wants to talk. Anytime there's any disagreement, he's like, Oh, girl, you tripping. I'm going to sleep. Yeah. Why do we always have to be so sensitive and express our feelings like they do? Why can't they just shut the fuck up like us? Right? Plus, he's so jealous. Stephanie, he has all these guy friends. You know, now what am I supposed to think? Just because they can't look at someone of the opposite sex without wanting them, then we can't either. I don't see anything wrong with a man and woman just being friends. Me neither. That's bullshit. You let her call you up one night and you say, can I call you back? I'm on the phone with one of my friends. Who? Regina. She's in one of my classes. We were just talking about politics. She'd have a conniption, man. Be so angry, she'd be slobbering on the phone. First thing out of her mouth would be that you're a fighter. And you think you have to tell me that? I shouldn't. You don't. Good, then. Proceed. Okay. Uh, Stephanie's distant. Distant? Distant. Yeah, she hardly ever, ever wants to spend any time with me. Oh, hold up. And that's a problem? Hell yeah. That's why I had to break up with Kim. Why? She was smothering me. Every time I turned around, she was popping up out of nowhere, talking about surprise. I'd come home from classes, and there she'd be. Surprise! The grocery store. Surprise! And after class, the library, bookstores, coffee shops, clan rallies, gay and lesbian film festivals, man. Anywhere I decided to show up, she'd appear talking the same shit. Surprise! We finally got to the point where I was like, how many surprises can one man take? So what finally happened? I had to tell her. I had to. This ain't no surprise. Every time I turn around, you all up in my face. It would have been a surprise if your ass had not been out here. Well, maybe I would want to spend more time with him if we did something for a change. We don't even go out anymore. Maybe, just maybe, I would take her out if she would dress up like she used to, man. You know, everywhere she go now, she got on a, a hat or a baggy sweatshirt, man. Looking like Woody Allen. Well, maybe I would dress up if he took me out. Maybe I'd take out a she would maybe put on a dress. Look, spare me. I'm getting dizzy. I don't even know why we're having this conversation anyway. This time tomorrow, you two will be back together. Anyway. It's it's over. Yeah, I am sick of this shit, man. It's it's like a fucking roller coaster. No matter what happens, we are not getting back together, Joseph. I guess we'll see then. Yo, Perry, so you, uh, you gonna go on home for the summer? Man, only thing that happens when I go home, man, is I eat fried chicken and get fat. I don't know, man, I was thinking of maybe staying around here, maybe getting a job, you know? Well, look, the landman said that we could stay here for half price until August. Now, I'm gonna be in summer school, and, and D'Angelo, well, you know. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, man, I'll stay. Yeah, hey, I ain't got nothing else to do, man, I don't have nobody, you know, waiting on me at home. Mm. Good then. Well, you know, I already talked to D'Angelo, and he said he's going to stay, and I'm going to stay, so, hey, that's cool, man. All right.
The reason I think most relationships don't work out is because the entire experience of dating is so anticlimactic. Dating is like eating a sweet potato pie for dinner and then capping it off with spinach for dessert. Your first date, you get all dressed up, put on your best cologne, spend all your money, talk about the most interesting aspects of your life, listen intently to the person's every word, making sure to keep eye contact. And basically, misrepresent yourself and flat out lie until you get back home. You get to see a person's best side right up front. And after all the whining and dining, all you have left to look forward to is finding out all their faults. But on the other hand, what other choice is there? Telling the truth? But can I be honest with you? Yes, I'd appreciate that very much. Go ahead, I'm listening. Okay, Stephanie, my feet stink. I mean, 24-7, 365, no matter what I do, the funk just won't go away. Y'all refuse to talk about my feelings, and I gouge my eyes out if I'd ever let myself cry in front of you. I avoid conflict like it's the plague. I think it's funny to fart in front of people. I snore loudly. And after orgasm, the only thing I can think of is either falling asleep or having a grilled cheese sandwich. Maybe I should get some things off my chest, too, then. Go ahead. I can't cook, and I don't want to learn to. I hardly wear anything sexy. I hate football. You hate football? Mm-hmm. And the only thing I know about basketball is that Michael Jordan is fine as hell. I don't think I could ever get enough attention or compliments, and by the third date, I'm already hearing wedding bells. I'm always right, and nobody sleeps until you agree. And in my opinion, the mere suggestion of a woman spending any money on a date it's pathetic. It's pathetic. It's pathetic. pathetic. I guess if it ain't broke, don't fix it. $20. Why, whenever you need something, do you come to me? Because we friends, man. Boy, that's what we're supposed to do. I help you when you need something, and you do the same, right? D'Angelo, you've been in college for five years, yet you only have nine credit hours. And none of them are in your major. In fact, you don't even have a major. You aren't even in school. You can't help yourself. All you know how to do is sit up in your room all day long and vegetate. Do I act like this when you ask me for something, man? I never asked you for nothing. In fact, you still owe me $40 I loaned you last month. Damn. Damn. Every time I see you, you talking about that 40 you, you know I'm getting tired of hearing about it. Well, if you're getting tired of hearing about it, reciprocate it then. How about I just don't pay you back, man? How about that? That way, you don't got to keep aggravating me about it. Get out. Got it, You came over to talk? No, I came to get my stuff. Stephanie, can you hurry up? I'm supposed to meet somebody in like 30 minutes. Who? Why? So, uh, when are you going home? Actually, I decided I'm going to stay here. You're going to get a job? Yes. Was that surprising? Yes. Never worked in your life. Your folks give you everything. No, I've worked before. 
Why, when I asked you to stay here, did you say no? Yet now, after we break up, you... Stephanie, I gotta go. Well, I hope you're not staying here thinking we're gonna get back together, because we're not. I'm not. Why are you acting so immature? Look, you're the one that's yelling. I'm ready to go. Will you make sure you got everything? I have everything. Good. Because I don't want you to have any excuse to come back. So are we enemies now? Why do you say that? Are you acting all cold and distant? Stephanie, we just broke up. That doesn't mean we can't be friends. Mm -mm. That wouldn't work. Why not? Stephanie, you... You just can't be friends with somebody that you've been in love with. You have tried it before, and it just doesn't work. What are you talking about? I thought I was your first love. Look, it, it's just it's just easier. And we just make a clean break and just go from there. Never to speak again. Whatever. Wow. That's the way you want it. Yeah. What can I say? Yeah. Can I get a hug then? Typical. I don't know if Perry's selfishness or bossiness played the bigger part in our breakup, but they both contributed. Like the time he got mad at me over a bowl of cereal. Damn! What, you, you trying to eat all the sugar bombs? I know you want cereal. I'm just gonna get a little more. Well, you might as well eat the whole box. milk hold it down what hold the cereal down why if you don't hold it down then all the cereal will float to the top and once all the cereal is gone you have a bunch of leftover milk Stephanie wasted milk he was dead serious and then he wouldn't even let me eat in his room. Whoa, no, 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 eat in here. I want to watch TV. Look, you either eat in here or you don't eat at all. I'll keep the cereal. Yeah. Fine, fine. But that's the way he is, controlling. The world's supposed to revolve around him. In his opinion, there are two ways of doing things, his way and the wrong way. She doesn't know how to let anything go. Yeah, any time we get into an argument, she brings that up. So, you two got back together? No, nah, man, I told you, we broke up, man. You broke up with your girl, Perry? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> so you got another one waiting in the wings, man? No. Perry, didn't your mother ever teach you that you don't quit one job until you have another one? Well, didn't your mother ever tell you to have a job, period? Hey, listen, listen, I'm not even sweating trying to find another girl. Because while I was with Stephanie, man, I had plenty of women interested in me. I don't even see why you want another girlfriend, man. Well, what are you talking about? This is the zenith, man. The best years of your life. You learn to walk, talk, get your driver's license, have sex, go to college. Have the time of your life. It's all downhill from there. It's downhill. Do you know what you do after college, man? No, I mean, what? absolutely nothing. You either spend an intense amount of time working yourself to death or doing absolutely nothing. The, the only reason you know the days are passing by is because of the bills you get at the end of the month. That's why people get married. So they can do nothing together. Yeah. So they can be like, well, I ain't doing nothing, but at least I ain't doing it alone. You need therapy, man. You don't hear me, man. Yeah, just go. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, my. Excuse me. Can I talk to you for a second? Sure. Come here, then. You come to me. What? Drive off. 
I know plenty of guys I can hook you up with. No. I'm just gonna take some time for myself. You know, to figure myself out. Why? I've continuously had a boyfriend ever since I was 15 years old, and I always seem to have the same problem. So now you're blaming yourself? No, I taking responsibility for my own actions. Honestly, I used to think there was something wrong with me because I always seemed to attract fucked up men. I went out with a guy who hit me once, and I do mean once. I went out with a guy who always asked me to loan him money. And I went out with a guy six months till I found out he was a drug dealer. How'd you find out? He took me on a drive-by. Yo, you keep asking what I do for a living, so today I'm going to show you. Crank the car up and let's go. But now I feel like everyone's fucked up, and the key is to find someone who's equally as fucked up as you are. That way, there's a balance. Plus, I'm sick of the game. Who are you telling? You give a guy your number, and either he never calls, or he calls at 2 o'clock in the morning and starts talking about... What you doing? I'm asleep. It's after two in the morning. For real, you lonely? No, I'm sleepy. For real? Yeah, for real. What you got on? What? You naked? No! Do you mind if I come over? I can do bad by myself. Can't sleep, man. D'Angelo, what you doing up, man? It's too fucking hot in my room. Mm. You get something in the kitchen? Yeah, man, something to drink. You make me a bologna sandwich, man? Hey, man, let me ask you. Do you think I did the right thing? What are you talking about? Yeah. Breaking up with Stephanie. <laughs> oh, are you missing her now? Yeah, sort of. But lately, you know, when we've been together, you know, I've been like, damn, you know, I wish I never had to see her again. But after we break up, man, I miss her. You addicted. You know, I'm addicted. Love is a drug, man. <laughs> you know, I'm dead ass serious. People destroy their lives and spend all their money on love, just like they do any other narcotic. And how long have you two been together? About a year, nine months. Damn. You've been getting your hit from that girl. So what you're saying is that I'm going through withdrawals? Like Chris Rock and shit. Hey man, what should I do? Get on methadone. Find another girl. You go from my ex to the next. If you can't love the one you want. Love the one you with, man. May I speak to Tina? Who's this? Well, this is Perry. Perry. D you may not remember me, but we met about three months ago on campus. You gave me your number. <laughs> You're right. I don't remember. Well, can I, you call back in about a half an hour? I'm busy. I'll tell you what, why don't you just give me a call when you get finished? All right, I'll do that. Bye. Whoa. You don't have my number. I have it. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, no, you don't. I never even gave it to you. Then I'll look it up in the phone book. Wait, why would you look it up? If I'm on the phone, I can give it to you right now. Damn it, boy. Can't you catch a hint? Bye. Is Danielle there? Who the hell is this? Who the hell is this? Motherfucker! It's my boyfriend! So maybe we can get together, go out sometime? I don't know. It depends. <laughs> it depends. Depends on what? Are you saved? Am I what? Have you accepted Christ as your Savior? I go to church, you know, on, on Sundays sometimes. I'm sorry. This isn't going to work. I'm looking for someone to spend eternal life with. But 
Are you interested in learning more about the word? Played out in 1990. Joseph, man, yo, set me up with somebody. Set you up with somebody? Set me up with somebody, man. Girls, girls are dissing on me, man. Yo, I call girls on the phone. I can't get no rap. I try to kick it to them in the street, and all I get is the hand. The hand? The hand? Oh. Yeah, hey, and I be coming correct, too. I mean, none of that shit. You know what I mean? I mean, I'd be like, excuse me, what's your name? And what do they say? So what, man? Fuck em. The odds are in your favor. You know how you figured, D'Angelo? The ratio. Perry, there are more black women than black men. But the black men that there are are either married, gay, jobless, uneducated, in jail, on parole, probation, lie for no reason, <laughs> sell drugs, only date white women, or they're dogs. They act like they're the only ones that have to put up with bullshit. I mean, half of them are waiting for some soap opera fantasy nigga to jump out of the television. Another half are waiting for, for Denzel Washington to get a divorce so they can marry him. So what kind of female are you looking for, Perry? And tell you the truth, D'Angelo, I, I really don't care. Just as, you know, as long as she's not bony, man. I just don't like no bony woman. Well, then stop being so desperate, and maybe you'll get some play. And hey, man, I'm not desperate. Hell if you ain't. you probably be approaching girls, breathing hard, talking about, help me. Help me! I, I just got dumped by my girlfriend, and, and I need someone to love me. <laughs> I didn't get dumped. You punk. You missing Stephanie, aren't you? No. Well, then stop worrying about finding another girlfriend and find a job. Both of you. <laughs> and get out of my room. I got class in the morning. Get out. Step. Find a job, huh? Mm -hmm. Hey, man, why don't you come? <laughs> Going on a job interview to me is like getting all dressed up to ask someone to kick you repeatedly in the ass, then being happy when they agree to do it. I'm trying to avoid that shit like the plague, man. Well, look, yeah, I'm out. All right. Hey, look. you lying last night. About what? You know you miss her, man. Why don't you just call? Hey, look, she hadn't called me. Oh, so you playing a game? No. No, hey, I've never been one to sweat a female. And, hey, I'm not gonna start now. And besides, man, Stephanie will never find anybody that'll treat her as good as I do. Anyway. So you mean to tell me that during the almost two years that you two were together, there were no other guys interested in Stephanie? Well, she had a lot of guy friends. Uh -huh. Like who? Well, she had a friend named Nolan that she was pretty tight with, but yeah, I think he was gay. <laughs> Why, he tried to come on to you? No. No, but he was always, you know, making some fluorescent-ass watercolor painting or writing some poem about moral injustices, man. Justice. Such an ignorant word. Unknown to so many. Unknown to me. Tricked by a system predetermined. Innocence lost forever. And I'll never be the same. That was wonderful. I like it. So that makes him gay? It makes him something. Yeah, look, if he is, if he isn't, man, he's not her type. I don't know. I just feel like our relationship has run its path. There's nothing more either one of us can do. Then what are you having second thoughts about? Like you said, even if you two got back together, you still have the same problems. Yeah, but I'd still like for us to be able to be friends. He said he never wants to talk to me again. Hey, he can't appreciate your friendship, and you don't need him. You're the prize, right? Right? 
I'm glad I have a friend like you. You always know the right thing to say. Excuse me. E excuse me. What's your name? Sammy, and yours? It's Perry. Nice to meet you, Perry. Nice to meet you. A woman can look a man up and down. And with that one glance, find out just about everything there is to know about him. His eyes, shoes, hair, expression, and everything else about him tell more about his personality than words ever could. Ironically, the only thing a man could discover with that same exact glance would be. Damn, she has some sexy lips. I bet she could suck a me. Another example of why women are smarter than men. So do you have a boyfriend? No. Is that by choice or by circumstances? Well, it's by choice because of my circumstances. What are your circumstances? I, I just haven't found the right guy. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sure you are. All right. So do you always ask so many questions? Am I making you uncomfortable? No. And I was just wondering, was there anyone in your life that would be upset if I gave you a call sometime? There isn't. Good, good. Look, why don't I, um, I'm gonna give you pen and paper and you can write your number down and I can give you a call sometime. Is it? No. All right. I guess I can do that. I don't usually give my number to, you know, guys I meet on the street, but... So why'd you give it to me? Well, you know, you seem like a nice enough guy. You've been very polite. Yeah. Something I can't say for most of the guys that approach me. Oh, what's happening? Hey, yo, I can't talk to you for a minute. I'm yelling as loud as I can and you still can't hear me, right? Okay, stupid bitch. I speak to Tammy. Oh, I love coming here. Yeah, this is, this is nice. This is very nice. Oh, um, I forgot to have something I have to tell you. What's that? Well, I wasn't completely honest with you when I told you I didn't have a boyfriend. So you do have a boyfriend? He's in Germany in the army. Do you love him? Of course. So why'd you give me your number? I don't understand. Harry, I have needs. You have needs? Yeah. Well, do you have a problem with me having a boyfriend or not? No. no. Good. Why, do you have a girlfriend? No. You're lying. No. What I, mean, what I gotta lie for? Look, we just broke up, okay? Oh, uh, so do you still love her? No. No. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I do. <laughs> then, I you're using me as a rebound. No. No. So, why'd you even stop and talk to me? Honestly? <laughs> yeah, honestly. When you walk past me in the street, you smile. I mean, I don't get that many smiles when I walk down the street. Nice day, huh? Hey, man, how you doing? Sunny day out today. I have mace. That's the truth. Yes, that is the truth. <laughs> Stephanie used to love to tell me how independent she was. Everybody's not like you. I had to work my way through school. Stephanie, you act like I'm rich. I am the first person in my family to go to college. 
I can't just call home when I want something. Yet ever since that first week we met, she'd always talk about marriage. Do you know who you want your best man to be when you get married? Um, I don't know. I haven't given it much thought. I want to get married by the ocean. Okay. What the, the fuck, fuck are you fuck telling me for? I'll admit that I expected to find my husband in college. It was like an obsession. Yeah, honestly, though, yeah, I think she was more in love with the concept than the actual application. To me, marriage is the zenith of commitment. It represents one person's unconditional love for another. But that doesn't mean that I can't be married and independent. She'd always talk about all the expensive things she wanted when she got married. When I get married, I want to live in a house like this. Bye, honey. Stephanie wants to be a teacher. Teachers only make about three or what, four hundred dollars a year? Now, what does that tell you? I guess we're gonna have to do this again sometime, Perry. I really yeah. enjoyed watching you play basketball. You gonna call me tonight? Yeah, I'll call you. Tammy, can I ask you a question? Ask. What do you think of me as? I don't understand. No, what? I mean, I mean, are, are we friends? Are we more than friends? What? Perry, look, you you know I got a boyfriend. Yeah, I know. So then. No, but. I mean, I don't know. Skip it. Come here. You kiss. Kiss. Mm -hmm. I like you. Okay. Let's just leave it at that. Yeah, okay. okay. It's just uh, I got in the wrong idea before. Perry, I know we've been going out for the last four months, but honestly, I just think of you as a friend. I love, um, I love what you've done with the place. Yeah. 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 Perry! Perry, you better come on. I am not doing this by myself. Yeah, I'm coming. Yo, yo, she is fly, yo. She is fly. When did you meet her? Yeah, about two weeks ago. Yo, she got a sister? Nah, man. No. She got a cousin, a roommate or something? You met on the nah. street? Yeah, on the street. You fucking her? Man, you want to keep it down? She might hear you, man. Man, you don't give a fuck, man. Are you fucking her? Well, are you? No. Not yet, at least. I'm ready, Perry. You can't have none. She gave it to me. Yo, man, she told you to give me some, man. No, she didn't. See? 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 You being funny now. You, you can't even eat all that. I'm gonna try. What's the matter? Nothing. You scared? You look scared. No. No? Oh. I don't have a rubber. I'm on the pill. I know what. It's just, I'm sorry. You're not into this, are you? No, it's not, it's not that. It's just, I guess I'm a little, a little, a little what? I'm What's little the? Nervous. Oh.
Tammy, this has never happened to me before. I don't do anything for you, Perry. No, it's not that. Then, then what is the matter? It's just the last, for the last couple of years, the only person I've been with has been my girlfriend. I mean, my ex-girlfriend. Touching. Look, I'm sorry. Well, give me a massage then. Oh, I got some energy I need to work off. Have you ever cheated on your boyfriend before? You call this cheating? Yeah, you know what I mean. Well, you know, my, my father was in the military. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he told me how everything goes. You know, I do my thing, he does his. Okay. We just don't talk to each other about it. I see. You never cheated on your girlfriend? Once. 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 One time or with one person? With one person. Did she ever find out? I guess you could say that that was the beginning of the end. Mm-hmm. You know what? What? You dog. Impotent? Impotent. As in unable to copulate. Exactly. And all because... I'm still in love with Stephanie. Was the pussy that good, Perry? I mean, think about it. Analytically. You realize you have a BDR. A what? A, a bad dick report. You sick, man. I'm serious, bro. Women talk. She tells her roommate. Her roommate tells one of her sorors. Next thing you know, the whole city knows that you are sexually flawed, my friend. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, you uh, laugh. Laugh now. <laughs> but by this time tomorrow, two women in Hong Kong will be sitting at a coffee shop talking about how your dick ain't shit. I remember one time I couldn't get up with this girl, man. Whoa, whoa, is this shit contagious? I was on medication, man. Medication? For what? Anyway, I, I couldn't get up with this girl, right? She goes outside, sets a fire, starts blowing smoke signals. Next day, everywhere I went, women were snickering at me. So what are you going to do? You going to call her up and beg her to take you back? Oh, uh, no, man. She'll call me. Well, you know, when you say stuff like that, it, it makes me worry, Perry. No, she a call. Y'all know her. And, and what if she does? When Perry and I would break up, I used to be devastated. I couldn't think. I couldn't work. I couldn't do anything. It felt like my entire world was caving in on me. Some sad song would come on the radio and I would be in tears. Whenever we were broken up, I would imagine him somewhere having the time of his life. Usually, he wouldn't even have gotten home before I would have called. And whenever we would get back together, there would always be this look on his face like, yeah, I got this. I think he got some type of pleasure out of knowing that not having him in my life made me miserable. To him, my pain was just part of his childish game. Joseph, anybody call? Hell no. You sure? Hell yeah. You positive? Yes, man, yes. Hey, was that the phone number? Hello? Lord Hello. have mercy. She's got him Hello? hearing things. That was the stove timer. It sounded like the phone, man. Stove.
Perry, if you're out in the street passing time, hoping that when you come back, you'll have a message, not only are you sad, but utterly pathetic. I mean... Hello? Happy birthday. Well, thank you. You're welcome. So, do you miss me? Not really. In fact, not at all. Oh, you lying. Oh, I'm lying. You missed me? Yeah, I've been thinking about you, yeah. Thinking what? Why don't you come over? Why? I want to see you. Why? Look. Why are you tripping? Why do you want to see me? I miss you. I mean, damn, Stephanie, I miss you. I, yeah, I want to talk. I want to yeah, just talk things out. Well? You don't miss your water till your well runs dry. Stephanie, listen. Please. Why is it that people can't appreciate what they have until they don't have it anymore? You know what? Just, just fuck it, all right? I don't even have to put up with this. You know, it's your loss, your peace. I'm out. Hello? Stephanie, stop playing games. What makes you think I'm playing games? Listen, I'm sorry. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for acting like I didn't care. I'm sorry. Perry, it's over. It's over? Over. You don't mean that. Enjoy the rest of your birthday. Joseph, do you think me and Stephanie get back together? Call me crazy, but no. It's possible. Perry, she told you it's over. That thing's pretty cut and dry. Oh, my God. Hey, wow. You know, what a coincidence. Stop fronting. You're standing in front of my apartment building. I just want to talk. You're not going to start stalking me, are you? Don't sweat yourself. Cause it's not that deep. I'm late for work. You look good. What's the occasion? Well, I don't usually look good. Like I didn't say that. I'm taking better care of myself. Yeah, it, you you never looked like this when we were together. You never gave me a reason to. Look, I don't want to start anything. Then what do you want? To talk. There's nothing to talk about. So you're not gonna give me another chance? Perry, I gave you a chance for a year and six Stephanie, six I don't want to hear that shit. Bye. Tell me you never want to see me again. What? Tell me you never want to see me again, and I won't bother you anymore. Perry, I never want to see you again in my life. You don't mean that. The definition of insanity is repeating the same action and expecting a different outcome. Whatever you've done, you could have turned on her. Women blame themselves for everything. You messed up when you started giving a fuck. The person who's in charge in a relationship is the person who cares the least. If the sex was good, she'll be back. That's why I've never been done. What? You got a big dick, D'Angelo? What? Well, you just implied that you were sexually proficient. Man, I'm not talking about my dick, man. Never mind, man. You just answered the question by not answering it. Fuck. But you, you got to keep him depending on you for certain experiences. Just when she seems too self-assured about the relationship, you become distant. So, she panics. That way she can't control you. Yeah, but I don't want to play any more games. That's what got me to this point. Oh, well. Yeah, you gonna eat that food or you gonna stare at it all day? Uh. It 
It's after two in the morning. I gotta go to class tomorrow. Turn the light out. Hey, Joseph. You wanna know what really scares me about breaking up with Stephanie? What? That she's gonna fuck somebody else? No, nah, man. You know, a part of me feels like no one else, you know, will ever be able to love you. <laughs> no, nah, man, I, I, I'm just, I'm just talking shit, man. You look, I'm gonna go to bed. Look, say what you gotta say. <laughs> and Stephanie, Stephanie cared for me, man. You know, she liked me. She gave me shit. Yeah, I told Stephanie things, man. I will never tell anyone else again. Yeah, I, I, I just don't know if I'll ever be able to open up to anybody like that again. That's what love does. It makes you feel like you want to be with the person forever. Like it's never going to end. But Perry, it's ended. It's over. It's over. Plus, plus she was your first love. I mean, that'll always separate her from the rest. Because no matter how much you care for someone else in the future, you realize that it can end. It was romance in the beginning. Long kisses, candlelight, slow dancing, walks, talks about everything and anything. There was just we, beautiful in my eyes, it felt like love and happiness. But as I drew her near into my universe, in my guarded space, she moved away, out of my reach. No matter what path taken or how many doors that I opened with a single heart, she was laughing at the opposite end of infinity. Now, once warm glances have turned into disinterested cold smirks, the wicked white teeth mock my existence. Eyes no longer soothe, but tear, bite, and devour. Hello? Stephanie, don't hang up. How, how do I look, Joseph? You look like utter shit. I mean, you haven't bathed or eaten within a week. No. Do you think I'm attractive? I think you need help. You think I'm ugly? I gotta go to the bathroom, man. Hey, Joseph. What? Man, don't leave. He's getting on my fucking nerves. Yo, man, he just got his heart broken. So man. what? A lot of people get their hearts broken, but they don't go crazy. And he doesn't do shit. And no matter what you're talking about, he brings her up. Plus, he keeps asking me the same stupid-ass questions over and over again. So do you think me and Stephanie will get back together? Do you think she misses me? Why? Why, man? So what do you think is going to happen next? Am I bothering you? Emma? You think she's fucking somebody? Do you think she'll find somebody better than me? You think she's gonna call tonight? Do you think that if I died, Stephanie would come to my funeral? Perry, let me tell you something. I'm flunk in my summer school class badly. I'm broke. I talked to my father twice in the past 20 years. The first time he called, he told me that there was a a radio transmitted CIA tracking device in his tooth. The second time he asked me for some money. I've been eating ramen noodles for the past two weeks. I can't catch a cab. At 12 noon on a Sunday, wearing a top hat, cane, and a tuxedo. Now I said all of that to say this, get over it. Everybody has problems, but life goes on. Leave me. Try giving her a call? Every time I call, she hangs up on me.
You try talking to any of her friends? No. No, man, no, I haven't. Just call a roommate, man. Maybe she'll talk to her for you. Yeah. Hello? I don't believe this. Are you really that desperate? Get it through your head. She doesn't want you anymore. Bye. No, no, man, that would not work. You aren't cool with any of her friends. Hey. Surprised to see you. Yeah. What's up, Nolan? I was just in the um in the neighborhood, and you know, I thought I'd just, you know, swing by. I see you working on another one of your uh, fluorescent watercolor paintings. Yeah, I'm not bothering you, am I? No, no. Come on in. Yeah, this is this is very nice. You're so artistic. You're here to talk about Stephanie, aren't you? No. No, man. You know, I, I... Yeah. Yeah, man, I am. Yo, have you talked to her? I talk to her every day. Every day? Yep. So has she mentioned me? No. Does she miss me? Perry, she's over you. How do you know that? You never liked me, did you? Yeah, man. Yo, why do you say that? Can I be honest with you? Yeah, sure. Stephanie and I are kicking it. Say what, man? So, man, I wanted to get with Stephanie since before you two even met. Yeah, but Nolan, I thought she was... No. I'm not gay. See, I respect women as people, not just as sex options. Yeah, man, so do I. You know, I listened to her cry about you for almost two years. You have the two of y'all... Uh, you know, I'm a gentleman. I don't talk about stuff like that. Man, Nolan, you always talking that punk shit. What is, you think you better than me? So what you wanna do, fight? Nah. Nah, you, you was just doing what you had to do, man. My, I ain't got no beef with you. Nolan. Get out, Perry. Stephanie, Nolan. We don't go together anymore. I don't have to explain anything to you. So I was right. There's, there was more going on between the two of you than just a friendship. Please. The only reason we even got so close was because he was there when you cheated on me. You know what, Stephanie? You are so quick to talk about what I've done wrong. Have you ever, just once, taken a look at yourself? Have you? We are not talking about me now, okay? We're, we're talking about you. When did this even start? When did what start? Don't play stupid. Okay, you know what I'm talking about. I've known that I had feelings for him for about three months. For three months? So since before we broke up? Yes. Have the two of you, you know, have we had sex, Perry? Yeah. Have you had sex? Yes, we have. You're enjoying this, aren't you? <laughs> you asked. What was I supposed to do? Sit around and sulk like I usually do when we break up? I'm past that point. You passed that point, huh? Mm -hmm. You know what? You ain't nothing but a scandalous asshole. What? All this time, you know, I'm thinking that you are about something. And you turn out to be nothing but an old tramp. Get out! Ho. Bitch! You did me a favor. I 
took Stephanie out for drinks on her 21st birthday, and that night, she peed in the bed. When Perry goes home for the holidays, his mother still tries to tuck him into bed. Stephanie's concepts of love have all been formed by soap operas and cheap romance novels. Every birthday, anniversary, and Christmas present that Perry has ever given me has been utterly shitty. Oh, yeah, I hate her. I hate him. You know, bitches ain't shit. All men are dogs. When she wake up in the morning, her breath smells like bad eggs. When we had sex, he insisted on me calling him Big Papa. Oh, I had to teach her how to have an orgasm. Most of the time I faked. Oh, she's lying. This whole hoopla about women faking orgasms is a bunch of feminist propaganda. Every woman I've ever been with has been more than happy to tell me when I wasn't up to snuff. Joseph? Yeah. I didn't reach Nirvana. Damn. God damn it. So does your manhood feel redeemed? Oh, what? What? I mean, did you enjoy it? It was... okay. Okay. Perry, why do I feel used? 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 I mean, it's been a long time, no hear from. What, were you just sitting around feeling horny and, and my name just popped up in your no, head? No, no. Tammy, I've been thinking about you. Thinking what? Why haven't you called me? I've been busy. Busy? Doing what? Anybody ever tell you you ask too many questions? So, how was it? How bad could it be, man? Good point. <laughs> but you know, then again, it's always sort of a drag. You don't know where the person's been. You have to wear a condom. Huh? Oh, no, nah, man. I didn't wear a condom. Say what? She's on the pill. The pill? The pill. Perry, you don't know her. She could have anything. She is not having sex with anyone else, man. How do you know? I asked her, man. Are you having sex with anyone else? Nope. So why does she have sex with you? I like you. You're special. You're special. You're special. Gonorrhea. That's incredibly fucked up. You gotta be careful, man. Don't let your ego lie to you. Anything a woman will do with you, she'll do with anybody else. Fuck that special shit. You know, I've been lying to myself, haven't I? You've been trying to. This, you know, all this drama could have been avoided, man, if I had just been honest. Perry, it's over. It's over? Get it through your head? She's over you. It's been about seven months since Stephanie and I first broke up. I've been going out with Helen for about a month now, and so far things are going pretty well. I saw Perry out with his new girlfriend a few weeks ago. I have to admit that I was sort of jealous. Even though she didn't look better than me. We spoke, said hello, everything was cool. Helen, this is Stephanie. And Stephanie, this is Helen. <laughs> nice, nice to meet you. What's up, Nolan? I mean, uh, you still painting, man? Of course, man. Yeah. What? You look good. Yeah, so do you. Thanks. Hey, why don't we play some two-on-two? -two? No, man. Games are for children. When I first broke up with Stephanie, 
I felt like I could never live without her. But after seeing her again, I found myself wondering why I'd ever been so pressed about her in the first place. Now, that might sound cruel, yeah, but actually, yeah, I think it was more like me making peace. I think we can be friends. Nolan and I are still friends, but our relationship, if you want to call it that, is over. I think it was more of a rebound than anything else. But it's like Joseph said, and that's life. Time moves on. But even after all the bullshit, I think I'll always have feelings for him. Our two years together made us both better people. You mad at me? Yes. Oh, fuck it. Fuck it. Look, let's talk about it. All right. Do you think you two will ever get back together? Say what? Do you think you two will ever get back together? No time soon. Stranger things have happened. 